all the honor, all the praise, all the glory bestowed upon you.
God's doing what he wants to do. Amen. Forever worthy of all, of all the glory from my life. You're the one that started this, and you'll finish it, Lord. Yes. I love you because you first, you first loved me.
refreshing in us that will last forever. Amen. There, there, are, there are times that I have been in services that they've lasted forever. What has been dropped on the inside of me, it's caused me to be who I am today and to be able to go and go. And if you know me, I don't ever give up and I don't ever quit and it's not in my vocabulary. Amen? Amen. If someone says you can't do it, that just like throwing uh, gasoline on my fire. Right. Amen? Right. And, and it's the anointing of God. It's not my own strength. Right. It's not by our might or our power, but it's by His Spirit. Amen? And, and if there's anything that we need to learn is to drink in the wells of love. 
And that's what we learn today by precept and example. How do we learn? By precept and example. Not just hearing it and hearing it, but watching it and explaining it. And, and God saying, I am explaining it again. And this is how you do it. Amen? And so you can do it even if you can't even carry a tune in a bucket. You can get in your car and sing. And it may be horribly, horribly sounding, but God loves it. Turn to your neighbor and say, God loves the way you sing off key. <laughs> or on key. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Let's be friendly. Let's go reach out to some wonderful faces today.
trying to get back to our seats so we can get this wonderful service going, huh? We want to give the pastors time to preach and get the word out, right? All right. Wasn't uh, this praise and worship wonderful today? Huh? We got the Bell Brothers back here with Hearts of Fire. Right? We got our drummer over here. Look at him, Gabe. Man, what a job. What a job. I feel 10 feet tall when we got done. It was awesome. Awesome. Uh, I do know we have some new people here today. You should have received a welcome packet. In that packet tells you about our church and what we believe. Pastor Sherry talked about that a little bit. We do the Bible. We speak in tongues, we run, we leap, we praise our, you know, raise our hands. Things like you do in a football game or a baseball game, we do it for our God. Okay? In there's a little card, if you could just fill it out and put it in the offering bucket, I'm thinking of filling one out myself, I haven't been here for a few Sundays. Not of choice, not of choice, but um, Pastor Dean has got the more complicated ones. And family night tonight, what do we do on family night? That's right, spend time with your family. Softball practice at 3.30 too tonight, okay? For our team. Uh, countryside, David, is that where it is? Countryside? Yeah. Rec? Countryside Rec. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Oh, Praise the Lord. Ariana Bell, do you mind standing up? So sweet. Oh, okay. she, amen. Yeah, awesome. Throwing this fire shirt on. She's having her bake sale back in the fellowship hall, and it's not for her. It's for a, a group called Heart Gallery, and it's an agency in charge of children ready for adoption. So she's raising money for the Heart Gallery. She's got some homemade baked goods, don't you, Ariana? So the red table in the fellowship hall, right after service right to her and bless her and bless this agency for these kids. Amen? Amen? And for King's Kids, if you want to bring in some wrapped candy, wrapped candy, Easter time's already coming upon us, and we like to have an Easter egg hunt for our kids. They learn what it's all about at resurrection time, but they have an Easter egg hunt, and so we need candy for that. Pastor Gail, raise your hand. Give that to her or back in the kitchen area. Praise God. And then we have a men's, men, a leadership breakfast coming up. Praise the Lord. The last Sunday of this Sunday, not Sunday, Saturday. Saturday, the 26th at 10.30 a.m. Glad it's not 6.30 in the morning, aren't you? 10.30 a.m. on a Saturday. Spiritual food and yummy food. Pastor Steve will be ministering. And it'll be right here at the church. Do you know we have Word of Power Bible School is taking place. Pastor Steve teaching on the gifts of the Holy Spirit. And it's not too late to come. We had our first class. We know a lot of people are recovering from um, being sick, but they're the healed. So come to the second class. Amen? At 730, we have a little surprise for you. It is going to play. Praise the Lord. So, Pastor Steve. Are you hungry for more? Yeah, of there it is. Being better equipped to do the works of Jesus than the newest Word of Power Bible School classes at Faith Family Outreach Church in Clearwater may be just right for you. As a part of their two year training school, they meet on Wednesday evenings starting March 2nd at 7 30 p.m. Pastor Steve Nicholson will be teaching on the gifts of the Holy Spirit. For more information or to find out how you can attend, call the Faith Family Outreach Office at 727 461 9673. 727-461-9673. Praise God. That's what played on Joy.